people who work here can be chipped to gain entry to the building and various services. Uh, I've just been chipped myself. Uh, it's not a painless process, but it doesn't last too long, not too difficult. Minor surgical procedure, which basically involves uh, a little chip the size of, I suppose, of a grain of rice being inserted under your skin. Uh, and you can then go off and have it programmed and then do various things inside the building. Let's go and have a look. And here's Hannah Schoblad, who is uh, in charge of this whole chipping operation in this building. Now, you've been chipped yourself. Where's your chip? Yeah, I have a chip right here, which I use to access the entire office. So let's see if we can get into this particular This is uh, how I do it. Okay. No we're need through. for passcodes. And we're in. So what else can you use this for? Is it just for gaining entry to doors? Because that would seem a fairly simple thing. Absolutely not. I mean, with this technology, I interact with all kinds of devices all around us. It can be normally my smartphone. I unlock my smartphone, my computer, I unlock my bike. Uh, all kinds of things that are now part of the greater connected Internet of Things. But inside this building, you'll be able to do what else? What other thing will you be able to do? Oh, I open the front door, I open various uh, office rooms, uh, I open the copy machine so that I can log into it. So you can print just by putting your hand against the printer? Exactly. It, so it's instead of having some clumsy device in my pocket, I just put my hand on the reader. If we help show people that this is really not that complicated, it's making our lives easier, I think people will actually welcome this uh, tool, tool to make their lives easier. And is there a sort of wider philosophy behind it? Uh, we uh, are early adopters of this technology. We experiment with it. We learn it how it works, because I think that there might be a day when uh, the tax man or the big corporates uh, will come to us and say, hey, try this chip, try this implant, and then we, the biohackers who understand this technology, we will be able to question their proposals.